Hey everybody, it's Coach Matt over here, Primal Athlete Training Center, www.primalatc.com. Well guys, you asked for it for a long time, and we are finally starting our video series on rotational shot put drills and uh, pro progressions to get through the rotational shot put. Now just like we did for discus, and just like we did for uh, glide shot put, we are going to start at the very beginning. Now seeing that we've had so many views and so many hits on selecting the proper discus, rim weight, and grip, we're going to do the same thing today having to deal with your shot put. Now, here's the thing guys. Many people when they first start out throwing, they're using a cheapo cast iron shot put. And that's great. That's actually what I used all the way through high school and all the way through college. Now, the problem starts to stem from, and a big problem that I see, is a lot of people then, after a couple years, they pick up a track and field catalog, and they go in the track and field catalog, and they get the smallest, most expensive shot that they can find. This is not a good thing, okay? Different size shot puts exist for people with different sized hands. Let me explain what I mean. This is a four kilo girls, I shouldn't say girls, this is a four kilo cast iron shot put. It's used by a lot more than girls, masters, athletes, and things like that. Now, as you can see, four kilo shot is pretty tiny in my hand. I can barely get my pinky finger behind it. Now, most people would see a small shot, say this weighed 12 pounds, or say this weighed, uh, this was a 16 pounder, and most people would see this and be like, wow, it's a really tiny shot, it's gonna go further. That is not the case. In order to make the shot go further, you need to apply as much pressure behind that shot as you possibly can. Think of it like a tire on the road. You have more tire, the thicker tire you have, the better traction you're going to get. A skinny little tire is not going to get a lot of traction. Same thing, you want to get all of your fingers behind that shot put. If you can't apply pressure through all of your fingers, then you're not going to get as much push and you're not going to get as much behind that shot as you actually could. So what you want to do in your goal as a shot putter is to find the shot put that is most comfortable in your hand. Typically that means you have to find the smallest, smallest shot put that you can where you can still get all of your fingers behind it. That's why there are so many. Now for a lot of people that's going to be a turned iron or a turned steel. A little bit smaller than cast iron, but a lot bigger than like a stainless steel, which is really tiny. The only way you're going to figure this out is to try a few. All right, you go to a track meet, you see somebody that has a turned iron that's 112 millimeter. You see somebody that has a stainless steel that's 110 millimeter. You see someone that has a cast iron, which is usually like really big. You see somebody with a turned iron that's 120 millimeter whatever it's going to be, try them out. See what feels best in your hand. But your goal is to get all of your fingers behind it. Okay? The worst thing you can do is throw using only two fingers or using only three fingers. Comfortably, fingers spread apart, all the fingers behind it at the same time. All right? The other thing has to deal with how you put the shot in your hand. To put the shot put in your hand, you want to make a table show the camera this, you want to make a table out of your hand, okay? Fingers are spread evenly apart, comfortably spread. You don't want your fingers right next to each other, and you definitely don't want to grab this thing like an eagle claw, okay? You want to put the fingers right behind the shot as best that you can in a nice, comfortable, relaxed position. So you're actually holding it in your fingers with the shot put right on the ball of the hand. Okay? If you do a lot of weightlifting and you use a lot of weightlifting bars, dumbbells, things like that, you probably have calluses right here on the top of the pad, right on the ball of that hand. Okay? That's where you want the shot to be touching. So let me show you real quick. We have, hope you can see this, we have the shot in the hand and we've got it right on the ball. So it's not in the palm and it's not all the way on the fingertips. It's sitting just like it's sitting in a little table, right in the ball 
of that hand. Just like you have the ball of your foot, you have the ball of a hand too. Sitting right there. Now the thumb is simply going to go on the side of the shot and just be there to support the shot put. The thumb is not going to aid at all when you finally push and flick that shot. Ball's just sitting right in the hand. So that's the first thing for today, guys, is shot put selection and how to actually hold the shot in your hand. It's amazing to me, the top level, the quality throwers that I see, especially in high school and college, guys and girls, girls that are throwing 40 feet, guys that are throwing 50, mid-50s, that have no idea what shot to use, and they have no idea how to hold it properly in their hand and put it up against their neck. What we're going to talk about tomorrow is the difference between where you put the shot up against your neck when you do the glide, as opposed to when you do the ro rotation, and also selection of your shoes. A lot of times, guys, if you're starting out, you're using a beginner level shoe, something that's going to be perfect for shot and discus. You really want to get a special type of shoe when you're going to be doing any type of rotational work like the shot put or the rotational uh, in the discus. So guys, make sure you tune in tomorrow. We're going to take this nice and slow. It's the off season. So this is where you can really concentrate and buckle down and take the time to learn how to do everything properly. And it will pay, pay for itself in dividends at the end of the season when you've got every small niche, when you've got every small part of the throw perfectly mastered. Make sure you tell all your friends about PrimalATC.com and make sure you keep sending in your questions. Right now, rotational shot is what I'm going to be focusing on. But if you have any questions, if you have anything having to do with discus or glide shot or hammer or javelin or even indoor weight, please send those questions in to me. I'll get them answered as soon as possible. Thanks.